Hey peeps, how you doing? We are in Givenchy Beauty House. Some people say Givenchy. I don't know. There's free limited items in the game for this month. They have a different item every week. Unfortunately, the first item is gone, but I'm going to show you how to get them. You see the quests on the right side? Doing these quests gives you points. The top left where it says 60, that's how you get points or that's where your points are shown. And the way you get points is by doing these different things. You can do the catwalk. You can vote on participants in the catwalk. You use different poses. You can apply makeup. You can invite friends. Whatever the quest is, I'm going to show you how to do them so you can get your points. So what we're going to do, we just joined the catwalk and we're changing our poses and our walk styles and our camera poses because that does give you points. So every time that you do a new walk, you should change your your camera, your pose, your walk. Now here, you're about to walk through. It shows the different people walk in with you and you vote. And voting on people can give you points too. And people voting on you also will give you points. You can simply vote just by choosing the hearts below at the bottom. And that's easy as pie. Once the competition is over, it will rate you guys from one to three and it shows your little dance and then it will give you your points that you've earned during that run. And then you can just continue doing more joining the catwalk. See, it gives me my points. I voted on the participants of the runway three times and now it's going to give me my points and I can continue changing my poses and getting hearts from people to get more points. Oh, I've gotten one out of two for the bottom one, one out of four for the other one. And once you reach all of them, you will get the points accrued for that. And you use your points to get the UGC here in the game. One of the quests is to invite friends. So you're going to touch that makeup face with the plus on it to invite your friends. That's the one that you want to use there. And they need to join by the notifications in Roblox in order for that to work. But sometimes it still glitches for me. So it just depends on if it's working in that moment or not. You change your makeup by touching the makeup face above the one with the plus. And that's where you can change your makeup, your eyebrows, your eyes, your lips, and your cheeks. And so you do that before every runway walk and that allows you to get those points for that quest of changing makeup. All of the pride UGC is over here and you can see the first one for the first week were these balloons. There's not any left now, but this is the moment where I was going to claim mine, but that was the balloon. It's not available now. So I was just showing you what it looks like when you do get to claim it. Once you reach your points, which this one was 75, I'm going to have five points left. Week two is here and it is in effect now. So you can come in and collect week two now. I'll show you that. The quest on week two says take pictures in the pride photo booth three times. So I want to show you what that is. Also, the items do require you to have received items from the previous events. And those are all right here in this tent. So if you gain enough points, you can get them here. And then it'll allow you to get the new items over here. But this is the pride booth right here with the rainbows. And you can go inside of it to take pictures by the camera, but I didn't find for that to work for me. But if you stand in front of it and take a picture um, after you do your makeup, I found that that will give me the point. I wanna show you exactly what I mean. So I'm just putting on my makeup. If you have a face on, you can take that off, but just hit apply and now check it. We are inside of the pride booth. I took a picture and it's not giving me that point. Do you see? If I stand in front, of it and take the picture i just got the point yeah. i go back in and take a picture no point it's hilarious i stand in front of it take a picture you get the point so do you get the point <laughs> i'm just kidding but honestly that's how you need to do it to get those points for the ugc these are limited items, so there's limited stock. There was 2,000 total of this Pride Aura. So come and get it while it's hot or you will not. And guys, seriously, you need 100 Pride points to get this. And then you can be stacking your points for the next week so it's still never too late. Come start collecting points today so that you can work towards those items 
to get you a free limited. Oh, we need to look and see what the, the item looks like. We're gonna go over to our Roblox avatar, check our backpack. In the back items, that's what the balloon and the aura are in. The aura is the one that's still available. The balloon is the one that is sold out. So that might be it for resale in 30 days. With limited items, you can always resell them. So you definitely want to do get these so that you could possibly resell them even if you don't want them. But who doesn't want them? Because they're beautiful. That's what the balloon looks like. It is by Miracle Beauty. Shout out to you. I love it so much. And for the aura, it's the creator of the week, which is Koob, Givenchy Pride Aura. This is what it looks like. Striking visual effect. These are both back items. There's only 185 sold out of 2,000. Quite a bit still available. Get in the game while you can. Get those points earned. It's never too late because there's two more weeks. And I'm gonna go back in the game to show you guys exactly what I mean by that. If you don't know, I'm going to show you because it matters so much. Look how pretty this is. And I love the fact that they're all individual colors making the rainbow as opposed to being rainbow on each. That's a really nice nice look when you look into the group because i'm trying to see what the next items are going to be it does show a, a javinci pride senzu so this might be one of the items coming which is really pretty it's like a fan so I think that that is definitely one of the items that's going to be limited, but I cannot say for sure. But it does say zero out of 3,000 gone, which means that probably is it. Searching the catalog under their name, it does show four pride items. And I'm not sure what that crown is because I haven't seen that yet. I don't know. I don't think that's an item coming because it looks like they're all gone. See, it says sold out at the top and 2,000 out of 2,000 gone. So I'm not sure about that one, guys, but I do think that that fan is coming we can look and see what the next item is because i know that one of the items does say mahalo and this is by mahalo so we'll see maybe this is from last year's if anybody knows drop a comment let me know when we put this one the the senzu on it does look like it's like on the front it's like a little fan on your waist so that might be a waist or a front item super cute really pretty i like the look confirmation that it is a waist item and it does have the Givenchy emblem on the little tassel that's hanging from the fan really cute and there it is on you guys we're gonna head back in game just to check it out for a second i've notice from the day that you check in to the game and collect your first quest that for me for the first week it reset at that time every night the next night so I could go back in 24 hours later and do my quests again so I was coming back in every night if you're late then it's going to reset at that later time you can invite people by clicking that plus face sign on the left side that is one of your quests so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't now to go over here the older ugc items that they had in previous events is right here i own all of them so it's not telling me that i need to collect them but if you don't own them then it's possible you might need to collect them to carry on and all you need to do is do quests i believe to collect those here in the game now the new items are over here plus there's robux items so there's like a sash here it's all pride items um necklaces the person of the week the creator of the week is gonna be there and then we have rainbow stickers by blizz right here for 75 robux and we have a pride pin by dolly 35 robux that looks like the adopt me pride pin miracle this is the one that sold out this is the one that's available right now so you need to come and get that. We have week four coming soon and week three coming soon. This is just a quick overview to make sure we t discussed it. Now that is the one I said is by Mahalo. So could it be the crown? And that's just glitch saying it's sold out? Or is that an older crown? I don't know. I'm sorry. I wish that I knew that detail. I can show you where because one of your daily quests is to collect the symbols around the map. I can show you where they all are. Now over here is the makeup stand, but behind it where this cloud is, is where I found one of my pride symbols. Here, there was one right here on this corner by this area. And then over here on the dance floor, there was the third one. 
Then heading on over here to the pool, there was one above like this ball area right here, number five. I had a Givenchy symbol right there. If you head over to these white boxes, look for any stack of boxes because I found a lot over here. This would be like number six or, and then um, on the corners, when you go around the perimeters of the buildings, there's like corners of the building right here. And I did find one like in one of these corners of the building like this. Now I'm gonna speed through going up to the front because there wasn't anything around this front corner of the building. My first quest to get them, I had like to get nine, I believe. When you get up here at the entrance, there was one right here, just right at the middle of the entranceway. So that would be like number eight, I believe. And then I did have one over here, like at the far corner on the outer perimeter, there was one like right down there at the corner. So that is nine of the symbols. I can't recall exactly how much the total was, but just check on these little corners, like I said, because I'm not sure which side it was on where that was, but there's only a few of those corners around the building. So it would be either this one or that one on the other side. When you get down here towards the back corner of the building, you see these white boxes. There was definitely one on these boxes every time that I have done them. So it was either I was definitely on these boxes. So I don't know if there was one on the other stack of boxes, but there was definitely one on this one. And I remember one being right here in the makeup stand, but I might be getting previous events mixed up at this point. And there was one at this back entrance right here, just like at the front entrance, except right here in the center right at the back entrance and that is all you guys that is all of the symbols seriously might be on that stack of, of white boxes but i think i talked about that when i first went around and we're good to go good luck and happy hunting i hope that you guys get all of the items that you can that are available from now until the end of the month if you have any questions just drop it in the comments below and i will see you guys in the game ciao